Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, I am doing a flower fairy hairstyle. This is a hairstyle I had a few different requests for, high pigtails, I think they're absolutely darling, and I had a lot of fun putting this together, and so I'm going to be showing you how I created this hairstyle for my flower fairies. Now, if you're new to making fairies, you'll want to check out my basic flower fairy tutorial. In that, I teach you how to take a wooden bead, a piece of floral wire, and some embroidery floss and twist it into this beautiful little doll. I have a lot of videos on different types of fairies, and I also have a lot of different fun types of hairstyles that you can do for your dolls. Um, I do have another fun hairstyle coming up, high pigtail buns that are so cute. It might be my favorite hairstyle I've ever done. So make sure you're subscribed so you'll be the first to know when that tutorial comes out. Also, if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay, so once again, that basic fairy doll tutorial is gonna break down these steps into how to create your doll. For our this tutorial, you'll need a glue gun, and I always have mine set on low, and some sharp scissors. So let's get into it. The first step is to smooth out your doll's hair. I do a lot of smoothing with every hairstyle I do. This one in particular, you're going to be spending quite a bit of time smoothing out that hair. Then you're going to push the bead down, put a dab of glue right at the top of her head where the floral wire meets the embroidery floss, and then push the head up. This will hold her head in place. And you can see I was actually able to touch that glue because it's set on low, it doesn't get quite as hot. So once the glue has set, we're going to smooth her hair out some more. So I'm really trying to flatten it out and get it untangled and just get it so it's laying really nice and so all the thread is smooth. And then I'm going to split the hair in half. Now you can split it right where the floral wire splits the hair naturally. I like to stagger the thread slightly so that you don't see that floral wire and it gives her a prettier part at the top of her hair. But you just wanna make sure it's split in half and that it's even. And kind of smooth it down on both sides to make sure it is even. I check the part, make sure I like that. And then I'm going to take a pair of scissors and at the very end of the thread cut it. So I have two separate sides, one for the left and one for the right. And this is what we've got so far. Now you wanna decide which side to work on first. I'm going to be working on the left side of her hair first. And so I'm going to take that thread and you guessed it, we're going to smooth it out. We want it as even and flat as possible. We are going to be gluing this onto the side of her head. So you wanna get that thread as smooth and level as you possibly can. So kind of a little close up here and you can see all of the thread is laying flat because we're going to be gluing it against the side of her head. And then I like to, um, as I'm working on my doll and working on her hair, I like to flip her to the front and make sure everything's laying nicely. So once I have that all smoothed out, this is kind of what we're going for here. We're going to be twisting it up and around. So with that in mind, I'm going to pull the thread up once it's nice and smooth and add a dab of glue. Now I did have some dried glue still up there, so I'm kind of using the tip of my glue gun to just melt that a little bit more. We are going to be using tiny dabs of glue as we go along with this. You don't want a ton of glue in any one spot. So I, I hold down the glue until it sets. I'm gonna lift that thread up again, add some more glue, smooth it down again, and you can see I'm trying to keep that as level and even as I possibly can as we wrap it up and around her head. So I'm just working slowly. I'm taking little dabs of glue. I'm smoothing that thread down. I'm holding it in place until the glue sets. I like to turn her to the front, make sure it's all looking okay. And you will notice that thread in the middle might need a little bit more glue just to hold that down. So tiny dabs of glue, smooth it out and hold it in place. Now, I actually do this very slowly. I did speed this up so that this video wasn't forever long, but I do work slowly with this. I smooth my thread throughout the entire thing and I use tiny dabs of glue. Those are my best tips for you. So you can see it's gone up and around and we have our first high pigtail. So now I'm gonna flip her to the front and I'm going to tie this off. Now for this part, you have two different options. I'm actually just using some embroidery floss that matches her hair. 
to tie this off. But if you know how you're going to be dressing your doll, if you wanted to add a different color of thread for this part, um, you definitely can do that at this point. So I tie it in a double knot in the front. I start in the front because I like to make sure that it looks um, cute and it's in a good spot. And then I flip her to the back and I'm going to tie that knot off a few more times. We want it nice and secure. Then I'm going to grab my glue gun and add a, just a tiny little dab of glue there to hold that knot in place. Once the glue has set, I'm going to trim, trim off that extra thread. And ta-da, we have our first pigtail. Now, you guessed it, we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. But this time we'll actually be putting some of the dabs of glue on top of the thread that we've already laid down. So I'm going to take that side, and that, this is what we're going for, looping it up and around. And I'm going to smooth out that thread and follow those same steps that I did on the first side tiny dabs of glue, smoothing it as I go. And you can obviously see I sped this part up, but I am constantly flipping her to the front to make sure that the bun and the hair, or the pigtail and the hair is laying nicely and that I'm headed in the right direction. And we want those pigtails to match. Let's see, this is what we have so far. You can see it's laying flat and that it's level against her head. And this is where I'm going to start adding tiny dabs of glue on top of the thread that we've already laid down. We wanna eventually have it looped up and around. So another tip is to hold your thumb down on the part that you've already laid down to hold that in place. It seems to help quite a bit. And then I just slide my thumb down and hold the glue that I've just laid down in place. It just keeps things nice and even. Once again, I love using a low temperature glue gun because it just gives me a lot more control in making the fairy. And then I'm gonna go add some glue right at the center where that thread loops up and around to help hold that down some more. And then go back and add little dabs of glue wherever you might need it to hold that thread down and so it's smooth and it stays in place. And this is why it's important to just use small dabs of glue. If you use too much glue, you'll have a big icky glob on the back of her hair. So by working slowly and just doing a tiny bit at a time, you really have more control over her hair turning out nice and beautiful. So I spend quite a bit of time towards the end, just making sure everything is nice and secure and smooth, especially in the back. We want that to lay nice and flat. So you can see we've looped it up and around and now we're gonna tie this side off exactly the same way that we tied off the other side. So I start in the front, I do a couple knots so it's nice and secure and then I flip her to the back and I finish tying it off in the back so that that finished knot is in the back and not the front. And then once you have it tied, you're gonna add a little dab of glue to that knot so it doesn't come undone and trim it off. Okay, now we're gonna give her a haircut and trim off these scraggly ends. So I smooth it down once again and I start by cutting it longer than I'm probably gonna have it be in the end because you can always cut more, but you can't add more. So instead of getting her pigtails too short to begin with, we're gonna just start slowly trimming it. And this is what we have, you guys. Hi, pigtails, and they are so dang cute. I'm really excited about a cheerleader fairy I have coming up soon. So make sure that you're subscribed and that you hit that bell notification so you can be the first to know when that tutorial comes out. And now I'm going to dress my doll. So I'm going to give her a little purple top and some green shoes. And then this is actually the flower that I got from Amazon. I'll put a link below in the description. And if you're new to making fairies, this is where you'd want to refer back to that basic fairy doll tutorial to see exactly how I dress my doll. And this is what we've got, you guys. And then I just went back and I added a little bit more of that purpley pink color to the top of her pigtails. And I tied it off just like I did when I was making the pigtails. So we have that little pop of color up by her pigtails. And I added some glitter because 
the more glitter the better I say and some little flowers and that's it you're all set I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope it was helpful I hope it gives you another fun hairstyle to add to your fairy dolls if you are making fairies and you want to share them with me please do that on Instagram with the hashtag untidy artist fairy doll I love seeing your creations you guys are so creative and it's so fun to see the unique details that you add to your fairy dolls if you haven't subscribed, please do. That would be awesome. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other fairy doll tutorials, as well as other tutorials such as skincare, bath bombs, all sorts of fun stuff coming out for the holidays. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comments and questions go below. And with that said, we'll see you guys next time.